Hey everyone, this is Sharon of River Road Knits, and this is my teaser trailer for my new pattern, the Scrap Lat Hat. If you've seen my designs before, you know that I like to do these teaser trailers to introduce you to my new patterns. We talk about yarn, we talk about yardage, we talk about modifications and techniques so that you get a peek of what the pattern is going to have before you buy it. So let's talk about my two samples. I, I made both of these samples for me. Um, they are both the size B, which I call the teen uh, adult women's small, though that's the size that fits me best. Um, I've got dimensions for all the sizes on the Ravelry page or, or Etsy page. Um, so you can pick the right size when you're making the hat. Um, this sample is made from a murky depths mini skein set. Uh, the set is called Lucerne. And you can see it's greens, blues, grays. Um, and then I put a pom-pom, a fur pom-pom on top. Um, so the Murky Depths is the dyer of this set. And then the pom-pom is from an Etsy shop called Naptime Knitter. Naptime, Naptime Knitter Designs. Um, this sample I made, um, the main color is Woolberry Fiber Company. Um, in the colorway homemade jam and this also for pom-pom from naptime knitter designs and then I did uh, For my Latvian braids in this one. I did a mix of just different favorite colors that I feel like went together So um, let's talk about the different color schemes of this hat. So obviously I went with two different um, Color schemes. This one is using a different color for each stripe in the hat and this one is having one solid main color the whole way and then just using contrast colors in the stripes. Um, so what I have in the pattern, I have done the math for you if you want to do different color stripes um, like I did here. I have done the math so that you know how far to knit based on the number of stripes that you're going to make. So I have it broken out from basically 4 to 12 stripes in the hat and I give for each size the amount of inches that you knit uh, or centimeters as well as the yardage meterage for each stripe. So when you're planning out your colors, you can plan how many stripes you want and you know how much yarn you need for each stripe. So I've tried to make that math easy for you. And what you can do if you don't want to do kind of this color block and you want to do something like this instead, what you do is you can just take the total yardage, assume that for the background color and then each of these stripes takes less than three yards. So um, I like this idea for maybe you want to make a more subtle hat or maybe what you want to do is take these really short scraps from like special or important projects um, and use those as stripes. So I think there's a lot of possibilities. Um, my testers, they've all been really creative in the yarns that they're using and the configurations. Um, one other really cool uh, way I think you can do it is to use different colors for the stripes, but to use the same contrast color for all the Latvian braids and then use that in the brim. One of my testers did that, it looked really, really good. So there's a lot of options for how you can mix and match your, uh, your yarn colors in this hat. Let's talk about yarn and yardage. So this pattern calls for fingering weight yarn. I think it's a really great pattern to use fingering weight scraps, um, maybe that you have left over from socks or sweaters or anything. Um, and the total yardage, it depends on the size. I will put exact yardage in the description box, um, but from the child size all the way to the adult men's size um, is basically just under 200 to just over 300 yards. So less than a skein, you can definitely crank this out from a mini skein set, or like I said, use scraps. Um, so the type of yarn that you'd like to use, I made both of these samples out of what is basically sock yarn. Either um, this one was a merino nylon, um, this one, the main color was 100% merino. But the nice thing about this hat is that, well, it's a hat. So you can use lots of different um, fiber contents. Um, you can use single ply. There's not the restrictions that I would think of normally if you were knitting a sweater. So really nice to use, maybe even that special yarn that you can't quite find a good project for. The only recommendation I would make is that you knit the brim in a yarn that won't stretch out of shape. So the brim is the thing that keeps the hat on your head. So I'd want to make that in 
um, either a merino or a merino nylon, something that won't stretch out over time. So if you've got fancy alpaca yarn, um, save that for the body of the hat. Don't use that for the brim. That's my suggestion. Um, I've already mentioned the sizes, but I have made it basically from children um, all the way to uh, adult men's large. Um, so you should be able to find a size in there that works for you. Now, um, I usually talk about modifications in these, uh, in these videos, but there's not really that many modifications for this hat. Um, I have in the pattern, um, like I said, I've broken out all the stripes, the lengths, the yardage. Um, so that's all set up for you. Um, the only other modification that is sort of there is about making the brim. Now, when I made my brim, I made it really quite tight because maybe that's just my preference of like brain squeezingly tight hats. Um, but I also wrote instructions in there if you don't like your hat brim so tight. Um, so you can keep that in mind when you get to that part of the pattern. Maybe you also like your hats brain squeezingly tight, same as me. So the last thing we'll talk about is techniques in the pattern. All of these techniques that I talk about, I've got tutorial links in the pattern. So um, the one you might notice is this Latvian braid here. Um, this Latvian braid is worked flat because the hat body is worked flat and then seamed. So I have instructions for working a Latvian braid flat. It is not a hard technique at all. It's knits and purls. You just make the design by how you cross the yarns over each other. So it's very, very easy to learn. I think it's a great design detail that you can incorporate into a lot of different things. So that should be easy for you to pick up and learn. Um, speaking of picking up, we've got picking up stitches around the brim. And then I finished my brims, both of them in a tubular bind off. So I have instructions for that. It's basically um, just a, a way of finishing the edge of a brim or the edge of something in a way that it, it makes the knits and purls look like they go under and onto the other side. Um, so I think it's a really nice way to finish up a hat. Um, so I've got details for that. It is a little bit more effort. So if you felt like you didn't want to put that effort in, you can always just bind off in pattern and that's no problem. So I think that this hat is a really great, like I said, way to use up scraps, way to use up uh, yarns that are special, or maybe you're not sure how to use them otherwise. Those mini skein sets that we all impulse buy, um, it's great for all of that. And so I hope you guys will check it out. I'll put links to how you can buy it on Etsy, Ravelry, Lovecrafts, anywhere else. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And I had a lot of fun designing this. I had a lot of fun seeing the projects. So I hope that you make it, that you share it, that you tag me. I'll put my um, Instagram name in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and happy knitting. Bye.